The reluctance of established players, the big boys, to embrace AI one. Introduction, the first to the post principle. The world's most powerful technology companies didn't get where they are by chance. Their success can be largely attributed to a first to the post advantage. This means they were the first to explore and implement new technologies, capture market share, and establish a loyal user base. They had early access to information, research, and often worked closely with the best universities and researchers. From Google and Facebook to Amazon and Apple, each of these tech giants leveraged their early understanding of technology to build products and platforms that became integral parts of modern life. Facebook, for example, had an enormous advantage in understanding social networks before the broader public grasped their importance. Mark Zuckerberg's early access to a large user base at Harvard allowed him to build, test, and refine Facebook's core features. Once it was publicly available, Facebook grew rapidly, and few companies had the resources or knowledge to compete. By the time they did, Facebook had already established itself as a social media giant with unprecedented influence. However, things are changing. The emergence of artificial intelligence (AI) is shifting the technology landscape, making advanced tools available to more people than ever. AI is widely accessible and easy to integrate into various applications, threatening the exclusive hold these companies once had on technology. Now, individuals and smaller companies can leverage AI to create products, analyze data, and interact with customers, potentially eroding the advantage of the big players. Two. Strategies to maintain market dominance. Over the years, large tech companies have employed several strategies to ensure they stay on top. Here are some examples: a. Exclusive control over data. One of the biggest advantages tech giants like Facebook, Google, and Amazon have is data. Data is the lifeblood of modern technology, and these companies have amassed enormous amounts of it. For instance, Facebook has detailed data on user interactions, interests, and behaviors. Google has years of search data and insights from platforms like YouTube and Android, while Amazon collects vast amounts of purchasing data. By controlling this data, they are able to improve their algorithms, offer more personalized experiences, and most importantly, block new entrants who lack the data to compete. This exclusive control of data serves as a powerful barrier to entry. Smaller companies without the same data resources cannot easily replicate the personalized experiences offered by these giants, effectively cementing the large companies' positions at the top of the industry. B. Algorithm tweaks and control. Another strategy big tech companies use is their control over algorithms. Facebook, for example, adjusts its newsfeed algorithm regularly. These changes often impact the reach of posts, prioritizing certain content types like video or personal posts. Over others, like external links, this control allows Facebook to shape how users interact with the platform, often benefiting its own goals, such as increasing user time on the app. YouTube, owned by Google, similarly adjusts its recommendation algorithms to maximize watch time. These algorithmic tweaks help tech giants to influence user behavior, while also making it difficult for competitors to enter and thrive in the market. Smaller companies or creators trying to establish themselves in the space may find themselves at a disadvantage if the platform algorithms favor content that keeps users within the established platform's ecosystem. C. Acquisitions to reduce competition. Acquisitions have been a common strategy for tech giants to maintain dominance. Facebook's purchase of Instagram in 2012 and WhatsApp in 2014 are prime examples. Both acquisitions allowed Facebook to eliminate potential competition while diversifying its offerings. Instagram and WhatsApp each had the potential to become significant competitors to Facebook, but through acquisition, Facebook was able to integrate these platforms into its ecosystem, ensuring they would complement rather than compete with Facebook's main app. Similarly, Google has acquired several companies, such as YouTube and Android, to diversify its services and gain a competitive edge. By buying smaller companies, these tech giants effectively remove threats before they grow large enough to compete. D. Market entry barriers. Finally, these companies often create barriers to market entry that make it difficult for new players to enter. For example, Amazon's dominance in the e-commerce space allows it to leverage economies of scale, offering low prices that smaller e-commerce companies can't match. Amazon's Prime membership, with benefits like free shipping and exclusive access to services, keeps customers loyal to the platform, 
discouraging them from shopping elsewhere. In each case, these tactics create a stronghold that discourages competition. While the strategies have allowed tech giants to grow massively, they have also fostered an environment where smaller players struggle to gain traction. 3. AI as a democratizing force. AI has emerged as a powerful force for democratizing access to technology. In the past, only large companies with vast resources could afford the infrastructure and talent needed to develop complex algorithms or process enormous amounts of data. Now, open source AI frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Hugging Face make it possible for anyone with basic programming knowledge to build AI models. This accessibility means individuals, startups, and smaller companies can use AI to analyze data, automate tasks, and enhance user experiences without needing massive data warehouses or tech budgets. For instance, smaller e-commerce businesses can use AI tools to provide personalized recommendations, just like Amazon. Local content creators can employ AI to analyze user engagement and optimize their content strategies, just like Facebook and YouTube. And in customer service, even small companies can deploy chatbots powered by AI to offer 24-7 support. The most exciting part is that AI applications are not limited to established tech companies. We see AI transforming industries like healthcare, finance, and education. In healthcare, startups are using AI to predict patient needs and optimize treatments. In finance, AI enables smaller companies to compete with big banks by offering personalized financial advice and fraud detection. And in education, AI-driven tutoring tools help students receive personalized assistance, narrowing the gap in educational opportunities. In this way, AI represents a threat to the control that big tech companies have held over advanced technology. As more people access these powerful tools, the market becomes more competitive, and it becomes increasingly difficult for established giants to maintain their dominance. 4. Tech Giants' Responses to the AI Revolution Recognizing the democratizing power of AI, big tech companies have begun to shape public perception and influence regulatory discussions around AI. While they position themselves as concerned about potential risks of AI, such as job displacement, privacy issues, and ethical dilemmas, these moves can also be interpreted as efforts to limit widespread access to the technology, thus preserving their market position. For example, companies like Google, Microsoft, and Facebook have invested heavily in AI ethics research and are vocal about the need for responsible AI. Google has published ethical AI guidelines, and Facebook has established AI research labs to investigate AI's impact on society. These initiatives, while important, also enable these companies to shape the narrative around AI development, guiding it in a direction that may align with their interests. Additionally, tech giants have actively lobbied governments to regulate AI. They argue that regulation is necessary to prevent potential misuse, but such regulations could also make it more difficult for smaller companies to enter the AI space. For instance, requiring extensive compliance documentation, conducting impact assessments, or implementing robust privacy safeguards may be manageable for a large company but costly for a startup. On the consumer side, tech giants have also made AI-powered tools available, but often in ways that keep users locked into their ecosystems. Facebook's AI tools for advertisers, Google's AI-powered search features, and Amazon's AI-based recommendations all add value but simultaneously keep users within their platforms, minimizing the need to explore alternatives. By positioning themselves as both the pioneers and the protectors of AI, these tech giants can simultaneously harness the technology's power while limiting potential competitors' access to it. 5. The Public's Role in Breaking the Cycle while tech giants may seek to maintain control over AI, there is an opportunity for the public and smaller innovators to challenge this narrative. One way is by embracing open source AI and contributing to its development. Open source projects like OpenAI's GPT models, Hugging Faces NLP tools, and various machine learning libraries enable smaller organizations and individual developers to create powerful applications without relying on tech giants' resources. Moreover, the public can push for fairer regulations that support innovation without unduly burdening smaller players. For example, policies that ensure data portability, allowing users to take their data across platforms, would reduce the data advantage of major tech companies. Similarly, advocating for regulations that encourage data sharing for research purposes while still respecting privacy 
could help smaller companies access insights traditionally monopolized by tech giants. As consumers, we also play a role by supporting smaller, independent tech companies and platforms. By choosing alternatives and being mindful of how we use services, we can encourage competition. This could mean supporting decentralized social networks, using open source software, or patronizing businesses that champion fair AI practices. The rise of AI provides a unique opportunity to challenge the monopoly of tech giants, but it requires an aware and proactive public willing to embrace change. If we collectively support AI-driven innovation outside the major platforms, we can foster a more equitable tech ecosystem where access to technology is not limited to the big players. In conclusion, while tech giants built their empires on early access to groundbreaking technology, AI has the potential to disrupt this control. By making powerful tools accessible to the masses, AI represents both an opportunity and a challenge. The actions of these companies reveal their intent to preserve their niche, but with the right public response and regulatory framework, a more democratic and innovative tech landscape is possible.